take that center more in the southern Yucatan tend to bring it more toward Texas. So a big question will be answered mainly on Saturday once that center gets into the Gulf of Mexico. And then we're looking at late Monday or Tuesday as a potential landfall. Something else that's interesting, while Ida is moving into the Gulf of Mexico, we're going to be watching an East Pacific storm start to strengthen and develop. That's going to create an outflow boundary, which may actually send some wind shear over Ida and keep it as a weaker storm. I showed you the spaghetti plot earlier, and there seems to be a little bit of consensus in the models right now. That may change, and again, there really is no center. Looking at the Euro and the GFS, both are indicating a landfall in southwest West Louisiana as potentially a strong major hurricane. Now that's at the moment, and this GFS run is just one of the run. This is the consensus ensemble plot of the GFS, and notice it is still all over the place, so there is not any real agreement in the computer models. What we are likely going to see is a surge of tropical moisture, and rain and wind will likely be our main issues no matter where this goes, because even if it's more into Texas, we remain on the wet side. So at the moment, we're looking at more scattered showers Friday and into the weekend, and then probably a very wet start to next week. All right, Chris, thanks so much.